Customized Comeback Layout Learning Objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to explain why it's important to customize comeback layouts, create a new comeback layout, assign a comeback layout to users. More fun with mobile customization. Now that you have a black belt in quick actions, we can move on to the next mobile customization tool. In this unit, we introduce you to compact layouts. Before diving in, we just want to acknowledge that the whole layout thing can be confusion. Action layouts, global publisher layouts, page layouts, compact layouts. For crying out loud, must everything have a layout? Well, yes, that's part of what makes Salesforce such a flexible CRM platform. You can customize the appearance of so much stuff that we are literally bursting at the seams with layouts. But don't worry, once you get comfortable with all the customization tools, you won't even think about the terminology anymore. So what the heck is a compact layout? Compact layout. When you open a record in Salesforce mobile app, you see highlights about that record in the header of the page. Compact layout control fields uh, which fields appears in the header for each object you can assign up to 10 fields including the name field to display in that area creating and customizing compact layouts for your object isn't required because system defaults are provided out of the box however we recommend using compact layouts to put information fields into record headers to help your mobile users get the information they need quickly. Let's look at an example from Dreamhouse Realty. D'Angelo has been experimenting with compact layouts for the property object and he is pleased with the results. Check out screenshots of a property header in the mobile app before and after he customized the object's compact layout. If you put a key field in an object's compact layout, mobile users can see important details at a glance. I'm not sure if there's a, it's a comparison, but... All looks like it, I guess the property name is there already, so... It's not really needed and it's supposed to look like that now. Create a compact layout. The Angela already took care of the compact layout for the property object, but he's not done customizing his record headers yet. He also wants to improve the appearance of the contact details page. So he'll create a compact layout for the compact object. Then brokers can get information about prospective buyers as fast as possible. From the object manager, enter contact in the quick find box and then select contact. So let's do that. Close these here. We are already here and then we go to compact layouts. which is here so i click the wrong one there we go and we click new mobile contact layout is supposed to be in the uh, label Add the following fields to the layout, name, phone, stage, email. You can add up to 10 fields, including the name field. Not all fields appear in the list. Comeback layouts don't support text areas, long text, rich areas, or multi-select pick lists. 
sort the fields by selecting them and clicking up down be sure to put the object's name field to the first and provide context for users when they view a record Put it like that so I saved it assign the compact layout to users even though we created a compact layout the Salesforce mobile app will continue to use the system default until we tell it otherwise so now we must just need to set up our new layout as the primary one for the contact object here's something to keep in mind unlike with page layouts where you can assign a different layout to each profile one compact layout is applied to all users Click Compact Layout Assignment, which is here, Edit Assignment, and we make Mobile Contact Layout the primary contact layout, and then we save it. Tip. If an object has more than one record type, you will see a record type override section where you select primary layout. With it, you can assign specific compact layouts to different record types. Test. Let's test the compact layout in the Salesforce mobile app. Now it's time to switch over to the mobile app so we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. Let's check out the new contact detail page for our prospective buyers. Okay, let's switch to sales, to the sales view. And make this extra small, so maybe we have the same view. Not really sure if it works, but let's see. And we are supposed to go to contacts. Then select the contact we created earlier. And let's make this super small. Doesn't really work. Let's drag this in a new one. So I made this smaller and I, I saw there's phone stage and email here and of course the name. Um, so I guess it's, um, it's what's here, what we selected there. Uh, looks about right. I'm, I'm not sure if there was more information there before, but um, it's definitely right. So that's it. Ta da! The contact records page has some new key details. Sure, it's a minor thing, but that's how the customization project process works. All those little changes add up and they make a world of difference to mobile users. Indeed, in the next unit, we complete our whirlwind tour of the mobile customization tools by learning how to push up the mobile navigation menu. Hands on challenge, create and enable a compact layout. Brokers want to see important information about their showings at a glance. Create and implement a new compact layout for accounts. Create a new account compact layout. Let's do that. Compact layouts. New. Mobile account layout. And actually, let's load the sales view so we can see kind of a before and after. So new layout is supposed to be an account name and your revenue phone and type. Let's see what's in there right now. Let's go to the gene point account. So right now we have type phone and website there. Uh, 
And we need the account name. Make this disappear. Annual revenue. Phone. And type. And then we save it. And we go to the assignment editor and we make the new mobile account layout the default. And that's about it. And let's reload this to see if it changed. Yes, it does. And your revenue phone and type. And the account name is here, so that all works fine. Check challenge doing 500 points. And we got the 500 points. On to the next one.